Hey everyone, I'm Liv and welcome to The Leopard Lodge, a new channel all about creative pursuits in the home. Here will be a place where I will tackle all things from decorating, DIYing, building. Um, yes, I do still have paint in my hair. To cooking, to drinking. Um, that is like how to make drinks. <laughs> All those real bartenders out there are like really making fun of my shaking right now. Lifestyle, thrift flips, you name it, I do it. I've always been a kind of Jill of all trades. <sighs> I wish there was a gender neutral term for that. Ugh. I have always been a person with a myriad of passions and it's been so hard for me throughout my life to whittle that down to one or even a couple of things and kind of focus on that. I do all kinds of different crafts. I just like continue shooting, me doing dumb stuff. I love to work with wood, I love to work with clay, paint, room makeovers. I have a degree in photography and I always loved that. I've had a side hustle jewelry business for the past five years. Yes, it did make my earrings, and yes, you can buy them. Click the link in my description. I worked in the fashion world, learned how to sew from a young age, making clothes, and of course, wearing leopard print. 10 years in the restaurant industry, a prep cook intern, I've been a server, I've been a barista, I've plated desserts, I've managed, I've done a little bit of bartending, I've worked in wine shops. I truly fell in love with that. I don't feel like wine is an accessible thing to people. This came in at around $22 from the shop that I work at, but you could easily find something in the $15 range. Definitely monetarily and also knowledge wise. Knowledge wise? That's not I think this is also a great learning opportunity that you can drink white wine with tomato sauce, which I feel like a lot of people don't think about doing very often. Even though I'm not a professional chef, I have a lot of knowledge and passion from my time in the industry. And I think that there's a lot of fear around cooking, around being perfect at something. So much of cooking is about sourcing good products, shopping seasonally, just kind of understanding what flavors go nicely with other flavors. It's a lot of trial and error. I love to go to the farmer's market and before I even buy anything, just to see, you know, what produce is looking good, what's new in season, what's kind of going out of season, buying some things, coming home, making a plan, and making a beautiful, comfortable meal. And it's not, it's not so scary. You can make stuff and you can make it taste good and you can make it look beautiful. I'll be the first to admit that I love to live in luxury. And the truth of the matter is, I don't have any money. I am not a rich person. I like to find solutions to make things beautiful without having a lot of money. When we first moved in, Tom built this shelf out of pallets and I added this area for our cast iron. It houses our dry goods like flowers and also my pasta making tools. I think that you can really see that in my design and how I've decorated my home. I'm not always gonna buy new wood. Sometimes I'm gonna take things apart and rebuild them. Sometimes I'll find furniture on the street. I'm really dedicated to living sustainably and not just buying a bunch of new stuff. So this isn't gonna be a place where you're gonna see me shopping on Amazon all the time, shopping at Target all the time, shopping at Ikea all the time. I'm not, I'm not perfect. I do go to those places. I actually try really, really hard not to shop on Amazon. I try really hard to thrift or find as much stuff as I can that isn't new. And that's kind of just how I live my life in all aspects of it. But I've found a way to live comfortably, to enjoy comforts, like good food and good wine 
and have beautiful spaces. I've had so much trouble just sticking to one thing and I felt like a channel that could encompass all of those interests would not only be great for me and bring happiness for me, but also would give me the opportunity to share with all of you the kinds of answers to questions that people ask me all the time about how I do things. I have a million ideas. I want to share it with all of you. I hope you're excited because I'm excited and I just want this to be a place where we can do it together. So hit that subscribe link and stay tuned because I will be posting new videos every week on a myriad of different subjects and we will go on this journey together. This is the Leopard Lodge. Welcome. Buckle up because we're about to have some fun. Is that weird? That might be weird. I don't know. <laughs>